respect. It is truly the currency of men. There is no other form of approval that matters more to a man than respect. Not being liked, not being feared, not even being loved. Being respected is something any man deep down desires. If you are respected by other men, it is a clear indicator that you are a man of purpose, a man with his heart in the right place, but also that you are strong, that you are not a weak little worm that people can treat like garbage. In short, it means that you are a real man. In this video, I will give you six powerful tips that will help you earn the respect of other men. This is going to be a long video because I have truly dedicated myself to explaining these tips in a way that cannot be misunderstood. So make sure you watch all the way to the end, because I can proudly say that this advice is as real as it can possibly get and includes actual stories from the real world. Now before we get into it, I would be extremely grateful if you would take the time to leave a like, and I would be even more grateful if you would subscribe to my channel. One thing I can promise you is that I will put maximum effort into giving my subscribers the best advice that I possibly can. Also, I would like to announce that I am also active on Instagram, where I post quotes from male role models as well as quick tips for becoming a better man. I will leave a link to the page in the description. Now, without further ado, let's get into the actual tips Number one, be honest. Being a high value man means that you are a man of substance, a man who has values, a man who knows what he wants and stands by his beliefs. So if someone asks you about your opinion, you must give close to zero thought to how your opinion makes the other person feel. You give your honest, sincere opinion always. Now this is not the same as being an asshole. I am not saying that you should be mocking other people's opinions or beliefs just because you disagree. And as a man, you should be able to make logical decisions. There are instances where it is highly inappropriate to say certain things. You must always analyze the situation. You can always tell the other person that you do not agree with the point of view that they are presenting and that you would love to discuss the topic at another time. But nine out of 10 times, it will be completely fine to express your honest opinion and you should. Just make sure that you do it in a respectful manner. Tell them why you disagree, but make it clear that you are open-minded and would love to hear why they have this specific opinion. But most importantly, don't just say this. You need to actually listen to what they are saying and look at the arguments objectively and be open to new ideas. Not only does this show respect, thus making others more likely to respect you, it is also how we grow as people. Being fixated on your own personal beliefs and instantly rejecting other people's input will prevent you from learning and growing as a man. Number two, defend those who are weaker than yourself. On this one, I am going to take a different route than I usually do. I am going to tell you a personal story of how I have experienced the effectiveness of doing this. Here goes. The place where I currently work is a very male dominated workplace. In fact, around 92% of the employees are men. Not only that, but a significant part of these men are extremely dominant in their behavior, which can sometimes cause a somewhat hostile environment. This is fine for those of us who know to not take things personally and know how to deal with hostility. But there is a guy there who is not particularly dominant and also struggle with performing at the same level as the rest of us. This caused him to experience a lot of hostility. And quite frankly, it was obvious that it was having a huge negative effect on his mental well-being. When I first noticed this, I was relatively new at the place, which meant that I was also not completely accepted just yet, so I was not entirely sure if I had the courage to stand up for him. Then I remembered that if I really wanted to be able to see myself as a high-value man, I could not let this fear hold me back from doing the right thing. So when I saw my opportunity, at a time where the victim of the hostility was not around, I asked for the attention of some of the other guys. Then I simply told them in a respectful manner, guys, I know that he is not performing as well as you want him to, but I think that it is very obvious that the way he is being treated is really affecting his mental state. And I am certain 
that knocking him down and making him feel bad about himself will have zero positive effect on his performance. It is more likely that it will become a downward spiral, which does not benefit any of us. But more importantly, I do not believe that any of you are bad people. So do you really want to be the reason that another person is suffering? So guys, let's try to encourage him when he is doing good instead of mocking him when he is doing bad. And keep the criticism respectful so he can actually learn something. I think you know deep down that this will contribute to making this a better workplace overall. When I said this, the other guys were quietly nodding their heads, indicating that what I said actually made sense. The behavior towards this guy became slightly better. Some made a bigger effort to improve than others. But the respect I received increased tremendously. The others started coming to me for input. They talked to me in a respectful tone. In other words, their perception of me had changed. Instead of viewing me as the new guy, they now saw me as a man who was not afraid to stand up for his beliefs, but at the same time would treat everybody with respect. This is a very powerful way to earn the respect of other men. Number three, be dependable. One of the things that characterize a high value man is that he does not talk the talk. He walks the walk. In other words, when you say you are going to do something, you better actually do it. If someone asks you if you can complete a certain task and you tell them yes, do not make up excuses to why you couldn't do it anyway. Then you put your head down and you work. Being dependable can also be interpreted as being loyal. If you have a close friend who is really struggling with something and you have the ability to come to his aid, then you come to his aid. Do not even wait for him to ask. A lot of times people will be too proud to ask for help. But if you can see that you can contribute to making a situation better for someone without compromising your own well-being, then it is your duty as a leader and a protector to provide your help. Remember, true masculinity is not about dominating the weak. It is about empowering the weak. Number four, be able to take criticism. As we talked about in the beginning of the video, standing by your values and beliefs is very important. But being able to listen to other people and take into consideration what they are telling you tells a lot about your character. One time an employer of mine called me into the office. He wanted to speak to me because I had been showing some behavior that did not please some of the other employees. Now I do not want to brag because I know that I am far from being perfect in any way. But I am proud to say that I am an extremely confident individual. I truly believe that I am capable of achieving anything that I put my mind to, and this is a gift. But this massive confidence of mine had been perceived as downright arrogance by some of the other employees, and he told me that I needed to adjust this arrogant behavior or he would be forced to take measures that he did not want to even think about. When he said that, I immediately started looking objectively at myself and my behavior, my conclusion. He was goddamn right. Looking back, I could clearly see that there had been instances where my behavior could easily be perceived as me being cocky and arrogant. So I told him that I sincerely appreciated the feedback and that I would do my absolute best to adjust my behavior. Fast forward a few weeks where I had been focusing immensely on being more humble towards my colleagues and I could sense that the overall vibe around me had improved considerably. My employer even pulled me aside to let me know that he was happy that I had taken the criticism to heart and that he could clearly see that I had adjusted my behavior. Now this does not mean that I have become a doormat and let people treat me as they please. It simply means that I make an effort to view every interaction for what it is and choose my words and actions to benefit myself and others as much as possible. In short, being able to tell yourself that you are not perfect and being able to view criticism as a tool that you can use to improve yourself can truly result in your daily life becoming better overall. And it will help you becoming the man that you truly want to become. Before we proceed to the next tip, I would also encourage anyone watching this to let me know in the comments if you think there is an aspect of these videos that I could improve on. 
I truly want to provide you guys with the best possible content to help you succeed on your journey. So, if you have any input, it will be gratefully accepted. Thank you, brothers. Now, let's move on. Number 5. Be genuinely kind. I am going to assume that if you watch my content and content similar to mine, then you know that being a nice guy and doing everything you can to please other people is a recipe for disaster. Letting people walk all over you, complimenting everyone. Being overly nice in the hope of getting something in return is actually not kind behavior. It is a pathetic attempt to manipulate people into giving you what you want. And most of the time it fails miserably. But a lot of guys interpret this in the wrong way. No, you do not want to be the so-called nice guy. But this does not mean that you should be an asshole. What it actually means is that when you are being kind to people, do not do it because you are expecting some sort of reward. Do it because you actually have a good, well-meaning heart. Do it because you genuinely want to make another person happy, even if you do not get anything in return. The goal of improving yourself is not only to improve your own life, it is also to improve the lives of the people around you. It is, as the legendary Stoic philosopher Seneca once said, wherever there is a human being, there is an opportunity for kindness. And finally, number six, talk less. This trait is one of the most prominent traits of a true high-value man. The man who is confident in himself the man who fears nothing, the man who bases his actions on logic and analysis and not emotions and impulses. This man knows that silence is golden. One of the best ways to tell if someone is insecure is if they are constantly running their mouth, even if they have nothing to say. If the only thing that comes out of your mouth is meaningless nothingness, people will quickly stop listening to you and stop respecting you. But if you make it a habit, to choose your words carefully, to only open your mouth when you are going to say something meaningful, then you will notice that when you speak, everyone will be paying attention. Because they know that when you speak, you speak with power, you speak with conviction. They know that when you finally decide to say something, it is not to be taken lightly. If you can manage to do this, you will witness for yourself that the respect you receive will skyrocket. But please, take this with a grain of salt. I am not saying that you should deliberately avoid talking even though you actually have something that you want to say. I am not saying that you can no longer participate in regular fun conversations with friends or other people you meet. The key point here is this. Do not keep talking because you fear awkward silence. If you don't have anything to say, do not say anything. Don't start talking nonsense because you want to fill the silence. Instead, be a good listener. Encourage other people to talk and make an effort to listen and to learn from what they are saying. And only then you respond accordingly. That's it for today's video, brothers. If you have watched all the way here to the end, please know that I appreciate it. I hope that you can use this advice in your own life. If you want to do me a huge favor, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe to the channel. And as I said in the beginning of the video, I want you to know that I am also active on Instagram where I post quotes and quick tips on a daily basis. I will put a link in the description for you. Also, if you have a specific topic that you would like me to make a video on, please let me know in the comments and feel free to ask me any question. I will do my best to give you a helpful response. Thank you for watching the video, brother. I will see you in the next one.